Hello students, this is Mrs. Miller, and the purpose of this video is to provide instruction on completing a graphic organizer with the text, uh, descriptive text structure. Okay, this is a non-fiction text feature, and if we can use a specific graphic organizer, it will help us organize the information and we can better understand what we are reading. Now, you should remember from our previous assignment that in descriptive writing, the author provides several details of something to give the reader a mental picture. And this is a visual or this is a graphic organizer that we can use. And the author gives many adjectives, characteristics, or examples so that we can better understand what the author is talking about. So for this particular assignment, I have a short paragraph on Labrador Retrievers. It says, Labrador Retrievers are a popular breed of dogs because of their even temperament and desire to please their human owners. Labrador Retrievers can be yellow, brown, or black. They are medium-large dogs with an average weight of 65 pounds. Labrador Retrievers are often trained to be aids for people with disabilities. According to the American Kennel Club, Labrador Retrievers are the most popular dog breed in the United States. So there are several details in here that help me better understand Labrador Retrievers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take different color highlighters and I'm going to highlight the different details. I'm going to start with my blue highlighter. Um, the first piece of information I know about Labrador Retrievers are they have an even temperament and a desire to please their human owners. Okay, and I'm going to switch to a detail about their color. They can be yellow, brown, or black. Um, another detail, they are medium large dogs with an average weight of 65 pounds. Uh, another detail about them is they are often trained to be aids for people with disabilities. And one last detail about Labrador Retrievers is they're the most popular dog breed in the United States. Okay, so now that I've color coded my paragraph, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the different petals here of my graphic organizer. So I'm just going to, for the blue, I'm going to do one in each color. I'm just going to come around like this. And you could even color it all the way in if you want to. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm just going to highlight each of the other ones so you can see what I'm doing. The next one I'm going to um, outline with my green. Then I'm going to outline the next petal with my yellow. And the next detail outlined with my pink highlighter. And finally, the last one I'm going to highlight with my orange. Now this makes it very easy for me to see the information that should go in each of the petals. In the center, I'm going to write the topic, which is Labrador Retrievers. This is all about Labrador Retrievers. So I'm going to write that in the center. And now all I have to do is transfer the information to the correct petal. Remember, it's already color coded. So what I highlighted in blue, I'm going to highlight to that petal. What I've highlighted in green, which was the information about their color, I will transfer to this petal. What I've highlighted in yellow will go here. The information highlighted in pink will go right there. And finally, the information highlighted in orange will go here. Now, after you have filled in the information, you will fold in each of your petals like this. You'll just fold all the way around on the line. Oh, I apologize. That's, of course, after you cut it out. I had already cut mine out so that I could show this to you very quickly. So you'll cut it out, and you'll fold it in, and then you'll glue this as well as the paragraph into your interactive notebook.